Hello everyone, my name is Lucas and I've been asked to do a brief tutorial about my recent work I've done in Blender 3D. My aim was to build a 3D model and to achieve the same look like a 2D concept. And as you can see on that picture, I got quite close with my model to achieve the thing I was looking for. There is nothing special about my work. The only special thing is the 2D concept called Reiner. And if you ever see video, cartoon or anything with that guy, I would appreciate if you could send me a link because I really would like to see that guy in action. So let's go to the Blender. Here's Reiner in 3D. You need to remember about few things if you would like to achieve that kind of style. You need to know how to set up the freestyle. You need to know about materials and know the detail. And also know how to set up the scene layers. You can go for just a basic material with any shadings. Because the shadings doesn't really doesn't make any difference because you want to only get the plain color. Uh, sometimes you might uh, tick off the cast and uh, shadow because you don't, you might not really need them. Just depend of what the style you want to achieve. I'd split up the scene for three layers. On the first one, I've got everything which is solid, which is a plain color, and the shadow. On the second one, I've got on the freestyle freestyle lines and on the third one I've got the shadow which is only falling on the ground. Now you can see how I managed to join all of all of the layers in the node editor. First one what I first thing I what I've done I multiply the color and AO to get just a plain color. After that I added just only the shadow to get the color with the shadow. I also added I also added freestyle which is actually which is on the other scene layer and all together with the white background and the shadow on the ground looks like that. So the last thing what you really need to know is to how set up your freestyle. Basically you have to add the object to the different groups, make different freestyle line set, make freestyle edges in the edit mode and set different orientation for calligraph modifier. All of the objects like uh, gloves, boots, trousers or jacket or hat are separate from each other. They are added to different groups, but sometimes they they have the exactly the same group like gloves and boots because I wanted to get the same style on it. You have to turn on the group in the selection by and for every single group you have to do a different line setup in the freestyle mode. You have to do a different line setup in here as well as in here. So only then you will get a variety of styles. Most of the time I was using edge types like a silhouette, border, crease and edge mark to achieve the style I wanted to. As you can see there's no nothing else apart of these four styles. If you want to do selection by edge marks just go to your objects in edit mode just select edges you're looking for and type Ctrl E and then mark freestyle edges. As you can see the edge is now in the green color. So that means this edge this edge is gonna be visible for the for the freestyle. Despite we've got plenty of options for the freestyle like a strokes texture, geometry, thickness. I only went 
I only was playing with the thickness and the modifier called calligraphic. I've been changing the orientation. Some of the layers got 45 degrees, some of the layers got 40, 10. You really need to play with that modifier to understand how it works and what's the best results gonna be for your work. I hope you were enjoying this tutorial and now you will be able to make your project to look like 2D cartoon styles. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.